Okay, so we're outside at the moment. I've got the uh, immersive optics 5 to 30 attached to the leaf, um, and obviously we're in daytime. And I'm looking out across the fields here. And I'm going to just adjust the parallax on the immersive optics to get the sharp image as possible. And we're looking out to about 150, 200 yards. And we're just scanning around the hedge line, and hopefully you'll get the idea of the quality of the sound that you're getting from here. Um, it's an overcast day about 3 o'clock in the UK in the afternoon. Um, if it is obviously a bit brighter you could put a sunshade on. Well, that's just scanning around for you and we'll come in a bit closer and I'll need to change the parallax a little bit on the immersive optics. To bring us in closer. We're now looking at about 30 meters in front of us here. And we can see that's working really nice, really nice indeed. And we'll just scan back out to the horizon again. And we're back out towards overlooking a farm. It's about 200 meters plus away. And we can see absolutely beautiful there. Okay, so we're outside now, exactly the same position. Uh, I've got the immersive optics 5 to 30. And it's not exactly totally dark. We're in a field by the cows and uh, we have the IR switched off and you can just about make it out there are some street lights around but it is a typical hunting type of weather um, what we're going to do is we're going to switch the IR on so we're just press and hold and we've got the IR on now so these cows in front of me are around about 40 to 50 yards and we can scroll around and we can sort of start looking out and we're at IR level 1 and we'll just re readjust the focus on here on the parallax bring the parallax in and focus in a bit more so we can see the cows here, here. and what we can do is increase the IR so we've got six levels of IR and I've got this zoomed fairly fair way in and I'm trying to reach out as far as I can so I'm looking now at about two to three hundred yards and it is actually picking that stuff up quite good that's actually quite impressive uh, that what I'm looking at there is a cow sat in the field at least three hundred yards away that's not too bad out this little tiny IR torch pretty good indeed and I'm just looking across I'm looking down the field here now and I'm looking at that cow there out there and I know this field pretty well I know that's another two hundred yards easily um, and we'll just put the IR levels down a little bit here while we've got it. So that's at zero, uh, that's at the lowest. Next one, next one. And I've got this IR torch pulled all the way out to zoom it as far as possible. But I'm actually quite impressed with this. Uh, with the uh, with the Sony Starlight or whatever they call it, chip in it, it's using a lot of the ambient light as well, so it's pretty good. Okay, so now we're at the same time of day with the voice recording on and we're using the Mamba Pro and currently we are set to five times zoom. Um, we're just scanning around the horizon and again it should be running at 1080p here. Um, it's an overcast day, 3pm in the UK, looking out to about two to three hundred yards. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just increase the zoom and see what effect that has. So I've just whacked that all the way up to 30 times zoom. I'm going to have to do a bit of uh, parallax focusing on the Mamba Pro. There we go. A bit of a shaky image because I've got this on a tripod. But we can just about make out some stuff there. Um, good clear images. Now obviously you are losing a bit of field of view. I'm just going to reduce that zoom down a bit. That's a little bit too much to be looking at. But you can see the crosshairs are nice and crisp. Um, any jerking you're seeing is probably me with the tripod trying to get you some images here but yeah we're scouting out to about a hundred odd yards here 200 yards up to the farm buildings over there so we're outside again now and we're now we're on the Mamba and we're set down at low magnification of Mamba and um, you probably hear the sirens on there so that'll give you a good indication as to the sound quality of this 
but I'm sort of I'm around about seven or eight times zoom with the IR switched off. Now I'm trying to focus on a cow that's probably 200 yards away. I'm going to switch the IR on and see how we do. So, just got to find the button in the middle of the night. IR switched on. And we're just going to, that's level one. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to this cow. Probably up to about 10 times zoom equivalent to the immersive optic scope. And we'll put a bit of focus level on it as well. And immediately I can see there is a big difference here. You know, with the immersive optics, it's got such more light gathering capability with the big objective lens. So let's just try to um, increase the IR on this. So we're knocking this IR all the way up. Okay, so now we're sort of like getting a good representation of what's going on here. And again, I'm just playing with the parallax on here just to see how it works out. But certainly very, very good. Um, it's good quality with your standard type scopes. Um, it does work out very well. But the, the downside, as we all know, is that if you do zoom in, then you are going to lose field of view, massive field of view, and you'll start getting distortions on there. So this sort of works really well for normal scopes. You know, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here and just to try and show this. I'm just zoom in a bit further, and you start now to see that it, it yeah, you lo you lose the quality out of it. You know, if you're using big high power optic scopes, it's not going to work so well for you. Keep around the. Uh, the 4 to 15 times zoom and it works absolutely fantastic. The immersive optics have the upper end here, it has a much much better optics in it um, and of course it's a fixed zoom as well so you don't have to worry about any of that and I'm, I'm adding a little bit of wobble to this uh, but um, yeah I'm pretty impressed these carols like I said they're out at ranging between 100 to 300 meters let's see if we can pick another one further out yeah, it's struggling a little bit, but that's not doing too bad. But generally with us guys with air rifle, we're going to be shooting around about 30 to 40 meters maximum. So I'm really pushing this unit quite a lot here, but I'm 